Hi guys, Juliana and Xavier here. Just wanted to say that the class that you're about to enjoy is actually from our Boho Beautiful prenatal yoga and fitness program that we created when I was pregnant with this little guy right here. Wow, this is like a magic, magical, miracle baby. And it is the perfect offering for any mother to be out there that is looking for that physical and spiritual guidance through this incredible journey that is ahead of you. So if this is something that speaks to you or you know someone that this might speak to, go ahead and click the link in the description of this video to find out more information. But with that, enjoy your practice. friends welcome to your day eight our reconnection and rejuvenation yoga flow so today's practice is going to be all about connecting with our bodies with our breath and also moving through different types of movement in yoga postures to really give you that feeling of energy connection and rejuvenation in your body and mind I recommend you guys have your bolster ready because we're going to be using it to start our practice today. So if you have a bolster or anything like it at home, go ahead and grab it. All right, let's begin. So take your bolster and then you're going to take a yoga block and we're going to create that nice little support for ourselves to start in Supta Baddha Konasana, reclined butterfly pose. And then you're going to take the feet, heels and toes together and simply allow your body to relax over top. This always feels so nice. And then what we're going to do is take our hands onto our belly. We're gonna begin our practice with a breathing exercise called your three-part breath. We're really going to think about bringing as much oxygen throughout our entire body, including towards our little baby in the belly there. So I want you to take an inhale and first feel your belly rise. So you're bringing lots of oxygen into the belly and then continue to bring that air into the rib cage, expanding the ribs and then all the way up to the chest. And then as you exhale, you just work with that movement down chest, ribs, and belly. Again, inhaling into our belly, into our ribs, into our chest, really feeling yourself opening up, filling yourself with oxygen, and then exhale, let it go, chest, ribs, and belly. So go ahead and do this at your own pace, inhaling deeply, really thinking about welcoming as much oxygen into the body. Exhale. Now when we breathe deeply, not only are we bringing oxygen into our muscles, into our joints, into our internal organs, but we're also bringing more and more oxygen, oxygenated blood into our placenta towards the baby. So this is not only for our health, but also for the health of our baby. So really thinking about deepening your breath. So keep going just one more time. Your three-part breath, inhaling, belly, ribs, chest, really feeling that movement of prana through your body. Exhale, chest, ribs, and belly. Beautiful. And just taking a moment with your eyes closed and checking in with how your body is feeling today. Where is your energy level at? How 
Are your muscles, your joints feeling? How is your mind feeling? I'm taking note of exactly where you are today and allowing this reconnection to yourself to guide you in setting a beautiful intention for this practice today. Whether that is intention is to let go, maybe of any heaviness, tension, anything that doesn't serve you anymore, or perhaps your intention can just be something more simple in coming into a present moment, reconnecting with your heart, with your breath. So take this opportunity to set that intention in your mind, always remembering to come back to it through your practice. And then when you're ready, slowly release your hands, bring your knees together, feeling that nice stretch through the hips and then rolling over to your side and coming up to our hands and knees position. So at this time, you can go ahead and just remove your bolster and your block to the side. You won't need it for the next little while. And then what I'd like you to do is come on over to hands and knees and we're going to start to just add some movement into our bodies so go ahead and bring your hips down towards the heels and then in a circular motion start to the right go ahead and bring the hips just slightly down and you're going to make this feel good on your body so make it fluid make it feel nice just go ahead and make big circles good allowing the hips to dip as comfortably as they feel Add in the shoulders, add in the head movement, make it fun. Make this your own little dance on the mat. And all you're gonna do is reverse that same movement. Just take it over to the left and around. Hearing little cracks here and there in our joints and our bones, and that's totally normal. Good, bringing lots of fluidity, energy into the spine into the shoulders, into the hips. Good, two more times. Big circle. Wonderful, beautiful, you guys. Coming back over to neutral position, tucking your toes underneath. At this time, we're just gonna lift and hover the knees, taking a deep breath in. Exhale, press away into your downward facing dog. Take your time here. Go ahead and add some movement once again letting go of any restriction, any tension in your calf muscles, in your hamstrings, in your shoulders even. Just make this fun. Make your practice be a fun time on the mat, a rejuvenating time, a, a time where you can really explore how your body is feeling, where that tension lies that day, and with your breath, letting it all go. Awesome. Now, once you got yourself a nice little fluid movement going on, just go ahead and release a little deeper into your downward facing dog. And let's really think about elongating through the neck, draw the shoulders away from the ears, opening up through that upper body, taking a deep breath in, exhale now, rounding vertebra by vertebra, coming into plank position, slow and steady, coming right into that plank. Your feet can stay apart. Exhale, come back over, downward facing dog. Three more times. Inhale, rounding, rounding, rounding. Your head should come up last. Exhale, push back and release for two. Inhale, rounding forward. Exhale, release for three. One last time, rounding forward. Exhale, release for four. Now we're gonna flow it out, rounding through into plank. Take your knees, chest, chin if you like to modify. Otherwise, go ahead and take your chaturanga. Releasing the toes, inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog, awesome. Go ahead and bend your knees and just start to walk your feet. You can make these little walks as funky as you like. Coming over to our standing forward fold with our feet apart. And then from this position, what we're gonna do is just bend your right knee and extend your left leg. Take your right hand down on the floor. This is where you can also use a block if you need a little bit more support here. And then you're gonna take your left arm and reach it up to the sky. So it's a bit of an open twist. This is something that is okay for us to do at this time in our pregnancy. So opening, not closing your twist. 
Your hand is grounded, your right knee is bent, your left leg is extended. So really feeling that nice deep stretch right through the back of your left leg, taking another deep breath in. Exhale now, bending both knees, bring your left arm down, stepping your right leg all the way to the back of your mat, coming into your high lunge, and then continuing with that arm all the way up into that open high lunge twist. And staying in this position, let's just add some movement with the arm. You're going to bring the arm back towards the back of the mat. Exhale, bring it forward and around for a one. Bring it back, forward and around for two. Forward and around for three. One more time. And four. Beautiful. Hold it here. Reach and lengthen. Don't be afraid to use a block if you need a little bit more support. Exhale, bringing your hand in towards the other hand. Heel toe your foot outward slightly. Staying in that open lizard lunge, but before we start to roll the foot out, just keep the foot grounded. We're just going to do little baby Pilates push-ups, I like to call them, or tricep push-ups. You're just going to bring the head down, bend your elbows, exhale, bring yourself up. Inhale down exhale up so it's not really about working the upper body but what we're doing here when we come down and we engage we're getting ourselves to go a little deeper into that hip opening sensation in our hip flexor great job inhale open and look up to the sky exhale drop that back knee to the floor left hand now presses that front knee out to the side as you open up the body Just taking a deep breath in, really feeling that release through your hip flexor. Good, deep inhale, exhale, bring your body down, hand grounded, ground your foot, lift your back knee off the mat, and slowly press into the hands as you lift and bring that left leg up towards the sky, three-legged dog, stretch it out. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, rounding through, coming into plank, chaturanga, or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, push back, releasing into your downward facing dog. Inhale, looking to the front of your mat, lift your heels, bend your knees, give me two steps, coming back into our standing forward fold. And once again, we are here with our feet apart. This time, we're bending that left knee, extending the right leg and reaching your right arm up to the sky. And now following that top arm with your gaze and just feeling that gentle release through that straight leg. Beautiful. Hold it here. Deep inhale. Exhale, slowly bring your hand down and then stepping at this time with your left leg, so that knee that was bent all the way back towards the back of your mat. From here, that arm reaches back up to the sky, holding that gentle high lunge twist. And let's just add movement with that arm. Begin to reach it all the way back and then forward and reach for one. Big arm circle for two. Breathe, connect your breath with the movement for three. Inhale, exhale, four. Inhale, reach up, exhale, bring that hand down. Heel toe your foot out towards the very edge of your mat. Try to keep that back knee lifted away from the ground at this point. We're just gonna do little baby drops and come on up for one little tiny push up and two work with the breath again and three one more time and four great job drop that back knee this time you can roll your foot to the lateral side use your right hand and just press that knee away and then see how far you can comfortably open up your body and this is a really interesting posture because A lot of us are going to feel different tension and pain in our hip flexors. And this is an opportunity for you to really discover where that particular point of pressure and pain is for you. And once you discover it, you're going to hold it there. 
So maybe it's keeping your knee closer and just bring yourself a little higher. Maybe it's allowing the knee to fall away a little bit deeper. Just again, being mindful that we have a lot of relaxing going on in our body right now. So we don't want to over push ourselves, over stretch. Even though you feel like you've really increased your flexibility in the last little while, just be extra careful. Don't get fooled by the hormones. <laughs> Take another deep breath in. Good, and then as you exhale, come back over to center. Hand back down, lift your back knee off the mat. Now press into your hands and go ahead and lift that right leg right up towards the sky into your three-legged dog. Beautiful, inhale, exhale, come forward into plank. Position Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, opening upward facing dog. Exhale, push back, releasing into your downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhaling deeply into your belly. Exhale, let it go. Lift your heels, bend your knees. Go ahead and give me two steps, top of the mat, feet apart. Inhale, this time extending through the knees as you come up halfway, lengthening. Exhale, reach and see if you can grab those ankles coming into your standing forward fold. Once again, make sure you have lots of space for your belly here. We want to not constrain anything. We don't want to compress anything, so just stay there. One more inhale. Exhale, bend your knees, rolling up for four, for three, two, and one, just finding a nice balancing posture here. Go ahead and just open the palms of your hands. Take a deep breath in. Close your eyes. Hands come onto the belly. Inhaling again, lots of oxygen into the belly, ribs, chest. Exhaling out of our chest, ribs, and belly. Just taking the second to reconnect to our intention, reconnect to our body, to our breath, reconnect with our baby. Just take that opportunity right now to find that center and then feel the grounding through your feet. We're just gonna do a couple of standing postures here. Let's take another deep breath in. Now on your next exhalation, you're gonna bring all of your weight to that right foot and just go ahead and bring your left knee up towards your chest. You can grab that knee and you can hold it here. I'm going to give you a couple different variations. Maybe you're at a practice and at a point where this is as far as you like to go today, and that's great. Version two is to actually play, uh, take the outside of your left foot and just see if you can slowly start to extend the leg, maybe halfway. And then the last version is if it's within your practice, you extend all the way out. So feeling that stretch. And again, we can reach that opposite arm all the way back keeping our belly button pointed towards the front of our mat. This is still a twist that we can take that's safe for our bodies at this point in our life. Another deep breath in. Beautiful. Exhale. Now just let go of your leg. Drop it all the way down. And then from here, see if you can keep that stability and just grab that back heel and pull it towards your glute. So heel towards your glute and then try to bring your knees together. So it's a beautiful quad stretch as we're lengthening through the body here. Again, really working on that stability, that strength in the leg. Deep breath in. Keep the knees together if you can. Exhale, drop the leg, both hands come up to the sky, knee comes up, flex your foot, hands to your heart as you push away, push away, push away. You got it and drop it down to the floor. Awesome, guys. Inhale, reach both arms up to the sky. Big stretch. Exhale, dive it down. Keep your feet apart. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, hands down, step back, plank position. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Give me a big breath here. Let those heels drop down. Exhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, look to the top of the mat, take two steps forward. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, release it down, forward fold, and then slowly begin to roll up for three, for two, 
one opening into that beautiful mountain pose here. Taking a second, hands to the belly. Let's just take that one other opportunity in our standing position, really feeling that grounding. Feel your heels, your toes right against the earth, right against the mat. Really connecting to that energy, that apana energy. Feeling your belly under your hands and just sending love to your belly, to that beautiful energy of light that is being created within you. One more inhale. Exhale, drop the shoulders, release the arms. Go ahead and take your right knee up towards your belly and just hold on to that knee. Now first, we're going to find that stability and strength. And then we're going to see how far we'd like to take it. So again, some of you guys might want, just want to practice it right here. Others, depending on your practice and what your comfort level is, you can grab the outside of your foot and see if you can extend that leg forward and then adding that final arm reach towards the back of your mat. Again, modifying, taking whatever variation that feels right for your body today. Everybody's body is different. We're all experiencing different, slightly different symptoms in our own way, so please just be mindful, be gentle, be kind to yourself. One more inhale, exhale, slowly drop the leg, bring that leg back, arms up, bend your, that right knee, that same leg that was extended, bring it all the way back and grab the back of your heel and pull the heel towards your glute. Now try not to keep that knee too far out, do your best to bring it together. And then of course, not adding that arch in the lumbar spine. So really think of tucking that tailbone under, pushing the pelvis, keeping that nice straight line with the body. Good, and if you can't touch the heel to the glute, don't worry about it. You can just have it out here, wherever you are, it's great. We're still working on that balance, that stability and strength really cultivating that energy within us one more inhale exhale let go of your leg bring your arms towards the sky knee up flex your foot hands to your heart as you push away push away push away and drop it down beautiful inhale let's flow it out reach both arms up exhale dive it down to the mat inhale halfway lengthen Exhale, hands down, step back, plank position. Chaturanga, knees, chest, chin if you modify. Inhale, upward facing dog. And then exhale, push back, releasing into your downward facing dog. Beautiful. Just take a second for yourself. Breathing in deeply. Exhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, take two steps in front of your mat, and then come on down to your seated position. So you want to come down with your knees apart. We're going to do our seated forward fold, but the way we're going to modify it to make sure we're not creating any compression in the belly is to keep your feet apart. Not too wide, we're not doing a dragonfly, we're just going to keep it about hip width, enough space for your belly to not have any sort of resistance when you fold. So when you inhale, we're simply reaching up towards the sky, and then as you exhale, you come forward and you grab either your toes, your ankles, the feet, readjusting to make sure you've got lots of space in the middle, and just allowing yourself to come down. If you want to use a block, you can also just take a block and use it to rest your forehead on the block like this. Sometimes it can feel quite comfortable for some ladies. So again, just listen to your body, you guys. Really listen to what your body needs right now. And let it go. And this is a moment where we can come back to that internal awareness. We can close our eyes. And we can really bring a lot of oxygen into the body through the inhalation. And then when you exhale, you simply give yourself permission to let go deeper and deeper. Inhale. Exhale. Just see how far your body will relax. Feeling that gentle stretch through your hamstrings. 
Inhale again. Exhale, let's slowly release, release your arms, reaching both arms up. And then from here, hands behind, just a little scoot forward towards the closer to the front of your mat. And then slowly make your way down onto the mat. Bring your knees together, but keep the knees slightly apart, but together in terms towards your chest. Again, just feeling this nice little stretch in the back. And then flexing your feet and taking one more really deep hip opening posture, our happy baby. Very fitting, <laughs> creating happy babies here. Keeping yourself safe and happy in the hips. You're gonna reach for the ankles or the outsides of your feet. And then you're gonna simply bend your knees and just allow your knees to drop down. And this is where I really encourage you to not think of pulling up and straining your neck, but truly let your shoulders relax, your head be super rested and relaxed on the floor. And sometimes some people really enjoy adding a little bit of a rock. I know at times when I feel my hips feeling a little sore or tight, adding a little gentle rock side to side can just help you go a little deeper into those little areas in the hips that may be feeling a little more restricted today. But if that doesn't feel comfortable for you, you can just keep yourself still and breathing deeply. Inhale. And exhale, just let it go. Really breathing into your hips. Letting those hips open, letting all that tension let go. Letting go of any worries, any thought patterns that are feeling really heavy today. Just exhaling all that out. Inhale again. And then exhale, let's relax, bring your knees together. And then from this position, just to avoid staying too long on our backs, even though in the first trimester it's not that big of a deal, but again, we just wanna get our bodies used to not having to spend too much time on our backs. So let's take our block and bolster and come back to that same position that we started our practice with today. You can come into Supta Baddha Konasana if you like, or we're gonna take a Shavasana, but once again, just creating that little bit of support for ourselves and our baby. You're gonna come all the way down and this time just release your legs really relax your body relax the arms feeling this really beautiful support of the bolster or whatever prop you're using maybe a pillow underneath your back palms of your hands are open your legs are relaxed and just come back to your breath you can practice the three-part breath again if you like or you can just take any regular breathing that feels comfortable for you. With your exhalation at this time, I want you to really visualize yourself letting go. So far in this program, you guys have done such an amazing job working your body with all of these changes that are going on and still doing the exercises and the movements to your best abilities. So right now at this point in our eighth day of our practice or of our journey together in the first trimester, it's really, really wonderful to give your body that extra little bit of a break, that extra moment of relaxation, of rest, rejuvenation. So let yourself be heavy. Let yourself be held by your props, by your mat underneath you, by the floor underneath your mat, by Mother Earth, by that ground that's underneath your floor. Surrender to it. Do not resist anything anymore. And simply allow your mind to just let go and go with the flow being the watcher of your own thoughts here, not paying attention to anything that may cross your mind, but simply being aware. That's all it is, is just pure conscious awareness. Breathing deeply and relaxing deeper and deeper. 
just let yourself go. Let your body go. Let your mind go. Feeling yourself heavy as a rock, relaxed, released. Breathing in deeply, welcoming oxygen into every cell of your body. Welcoming love, blissfulness, peace, joy and happiness into your life. Welcoming that energy with an open heart. Allowing that energy to fill your body with the beautiful radiant light. Giving you balance, giving you strength. Giving you that extra little boost of energy that you need right now. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. You're more than welcome to just stay in this posture for as long as you need. Enjoy it. Give yourself this beautiful gift of relaxation and rest. Please, if your time allows you, stay here. Stay for as long as you need. But if you need to come out of it right now, in this moment with me, then gently with loving awareness, just welcome some movement to your fingers and your toes. Deepen your breath. And then exhale, just slowly bend your knees, roll over to your side, to your left side. And come on up to your seated position. If you want to just keep your eyes closed here, keep them closed. I want you to keep that energy inside of you right now. Just find that comfortable seat, placing your hands on your heart. And taking one last final deep breath. Just feeling that beautiful energy, that vibration radiating through your body right now and allowing this energy of love and peace to guide you through the rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for your work. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your energy, for showing up for yourself, your health and your well-being. I send you my love and light. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste. I just wanted to say a huge heartfelt thank you one more time for joining me on the mat today for this practice. I hope it gave you everything that you were looking to receive. And like I mentioned earlier, this practice was taken from our full Boho Beautiful Prenatal Journey program. And it is a program that we created during a very, very special and transitioning to transitionary time in my life because I was pregnant as well. And it's very, very dear and special to my heart not only for that reason, but only also because I find that it really came together nicely in providing any mother to be out there the opportunity to not only maintain and support their physical and mental well-being through the yoga and the workouts, but also give you the opportunity to connect deeper to this life that is growing within you. I think that's one thing that is somewhat missing through all of the the prenatal content that is out there it's it's beautiful to of course maintain our body but we always have to remember that there is a human being growing inside of us and so energetically we must find ways to connect to that life that force of creation that is constantly running through us to to bring this life into being and so 
this program really focuses on giving you the opportunity on a daily basis to connect to that energy, to connect to your beautiful baby, and to really enjoy this beautiful, powerful time in your life into motherhood. So if this is something that you feel connects to you and that you need in your life right now, then you can click the link in the description of this video, or maybe you know someone out there that is about to have a baby and you know they could benefit from such a program, then feel free to share it with them as well. But overall, I just wanted to say thank you again, and I send you all my love, and I hope to see you on the mat soon. Namaste. <laughs>